What's up, I'm Matthew. I'm Robert. We are my children, my bride. Follow Shut us at our sweet band. <laughs> this is Sheila. She's good at dancing. We support to write love on her arms in solid state and in and out on the outside of our uh, beautiful ride. Warm in here, man. It's so hot. So warm in here. Uh, coming to the front seat. Uh, we have six guys with us, counting me. This is where our two are, what is he? Sound guy? This is where he sleeps. Yeah, it's his room. This is his little room. We got the essentials of a touring rig, as we call it, is a GPS. Everything you need to know or where you need to go is all in this guy right here. I don't know how we did it without one for yeah, so many years. I don't know what took us so long to get yeah. one. Uh, we got other stuff in the front seat. We have our little like, uh, Charger port thing. We have an inverter underneath the front seat, so we, we get to plug in. That runs to where's it at? This guy, and it, they actually go all the way to the back of the van. So we can plug in all our awesome this guy's chargers. I, my bench is the first bench, so all my stuff typically gets plugged in right in front. We got cool. um, the air fresheners, essentials. <laughs> when you're in a van, extra toilet you. paper <laughs> always goes a long way. A bunch of junk gets thrown up here that nobody wants to like Deal float with. around the van. Just like that's like the cubby hole area. I mean, these are all of our friend CDs that we've bought. We always put stickers up, records of ours that we bought. Yeah. Um, you know, just. That's a lucky bored. frog. We get bored. Um, yeah, we'll move we to can, the next bench. We'll move back. Actually, to my humble abode, I give you the tour of this one. This bench is mine. It's all mine. Um, we have storage space under the benches. I got a little like storage tote. It has like all my DVDs, books, toiletries. Um, yeah, it's just got all the like loose things that I use, but don't want them to get lost in our van that we always hear so much about everybody else's stuff losing. And I have, you know, just the typical, all my junk, my shoes, a ukulele, you know, the typical stuff. <laughs> we have the shade. This is my little shader here from the sun. I also hold my posters that we get. Um, but yeah, we have cup holders. It's just typically this is like my my bed. I don't. No one else sits here. No one else sleeps here. This is like restricted area. <laughs> Moving to bench number two. This is our bass player Joe. Uh, he doesn't like Mountain Dew at all, but that got shoved there because we love Mountain Dew. So if you guys want to bring us Mountain Dew, that'd be awesome. Uh, he's very nice and neat. All his stuff is folded. Uh, because he's a little kid and pack makes rat. his bed. Big and time pack rat. Yeah, he doesn't have anything cool in his bench. It's, he is very like old fashioned when it comes to putting stuff up. It's always either stuffed in a backpack, really tight up under his bench or under mine. Um, but yeah, there's nothing exciting about him. Next bench is Matthew's. This is my room, if we call them rooms. Uh, I kind of went crazy and I have a bunch of stuff everywhere. I have my Slipknot wallpaper to keep the shade out um, with some other random stickers. I love bats, so people bring me bats and that's why this is up there. Uh, what else? On this side, there's some more random stuff I've collected from tour, Slipknot drawings people have done for me. Uh, my bench is pretty messy right now, really bad. But uh, yeah, and then next, the next person in line this is, this is the crow's nest. We got a bunk, dual bunk system in this puppy. Uh, a mattress. You know, the works. <laughs> this is our drummer Matisse. He's from Switzerland. Uh, and this is his little nest. He sleeps butt naked up here. And it's disgusting. He's not really naked. He sleeps in his underwear or whatever, but it's just, he's always sprawled out like a little kid everywhere, ruining my sleeping arrangements all night long. Uh, but yeah, his, he's got like his Zune and stuff like Velcroed to the walls. I don't understand it. He's got a bunch of crap. And he's there. got like a little window that he <laughs> fashioned over here. Uh, but yeah, his is boring too. There's, and then, uh, no, last but not least, we can open we can go it up. around to the back. We have the cave, AKA where cave Dan sleeps, the cave Dan, uh, which is also pretty messy right now. But he has something going on. Tempur-Pedic as well. It's reinforced. You know. 
hooked up big time, but I don't know what else he does down here. <laughs> He's got poster. all his clothes, all his everything. Oh yeah, he just... loves Star Wars, and if you look up there, there's a poster of Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars on. So if if anybody's out there watching this, anything Star Wars you bring to this dude, and he'll be happy. Just little kid. You'll make his day. What else? We, we live here. It's like MTV, like real world, except all day long in this stinky van. So yeah. Thanks for looking at our van. Thanks for checking it out. MTV Cribs will be on you next. See you later, guys.